Today is the day we're gonna finally move into the grow bag. Uh, when it comes to the pepper and what was eating it, I was getting slugs, so I put down some slug pellets. But uh, let me just see what the instructions on this are, and then uh, start the process. We're in the greenhouse as planned, so I've read the instructions. I'm supposed to shake it, now I'm gonna cut it out. So I'm gonna just do that. One, ha 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 ha. Two, ha 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 ha. Three, ha 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 ha. One, two, three. It's my terrible uh, count, counting with a count impression. So <laughs> I used these scissors and man, that was a terrible idea because it was pretty difficult to cut it. Next time I should probably get some box cutters or something. Anyway, so next step is I think to move it in or to water it. So let me just double check that and do that. Pretty glad I'm making this vlog now because I've just realized you know it's quite difficult to look underneath. I had I looked back to the, the video, the previous section of the video I had. So the next step is supposed to be seven liters of water, check the texture, and then move the plants in. So I'm gonna have to try and figure out, and I should probably have figured this out at some point, how much water this fits. So let's do that. So we don't have to be exact here, I'm just approximating. This is some what is this? Some like gardening thing that we had, it says 10 kilograms. I know that a kilogram of water is about a litre and I poured from the top into here. So I'm gonna guess this guy is probably like six, seven litres, which is good enough for me. And a glug, glug, glug. Hopefully not to waste too much. Yeah, let, let me, let me do this without holding the camera. So I've done my best not to spill any, and I haven't really spilled any, but the next step is to check the texture, and uh, not really sure what texture I'm looking for. There's quite a lot of water in here, to be honest. So next I, I need, probably need to ask someone or, or look online on how I'm supposed to pop these things. I've made a hole, made a hole. I'll show you next time I make Actually, let's, let's show you next time. I'm just you know, moving things aside to make a hole that I think is roughly the size of the um, the, the pot. Hopefully my Esther estimation is about right. The, the thing is, right, the depth of the pot is about as deep as the grow bag, which leaves me slightly worried. And obviously the first hole I made filled with water, because that's just, that's how things work, right? Science, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, gonna gonna tilt these out into here. Hopefully this this was the, the right way to do things. So I'll uh, I'll show you once I've done that. And here's one. I wish I had my, my tripod, because obviously can't hold and do the tilting. That was pretty difficult, but it, it went alright, it went alright. I do need to make the hole slightly bigger, and I have made it slightly off-centre, but hey, let me just do the rest. That went quite well, very cleanly they came out. That's quite simple, just, you know, tip them out, pat the bottom slightly, and manage to move them in. I think these ones are, are roughly centred. Roughly centered. Now the grow bag does say that you might want to poke some holes in it to make sure it's not too wet. But I don't really know what too wet is, but it's quite it's quite wet as you can see right now. There's quite a lot of water inside. But I'll I'll see how it goes and I'll uh, see, you know, do my research as to what too wet and what the right texture is. For now at least, I, I realized I didn't actually pay any attention to the orientation, but hopefully, hopefully plants can grow to the right orientation, because I have moved them slightly. Different location, the sun will be in different places. Hopefully, hopefully these are these are fine. I'm looking at them right now, and you know, since they're up so high, hopefully there won't be as many slugs to eat them, and hopefully there's no aphids that can really get into the greenhouse, so I won't have to deal with that problem that much either. I won't have to use as much pesticides. So, yeah, let's uh, let's see how this goes, and I'll be I'll be back tomorrow to give a, a progress report. Today is day seven.